Hey guys, it's Ani. Happy, happy Friday. Um, thank you so much for all the love and beautiful comments on my last video. You guys, if you haven't checked it out, it's um, Your SP Feels Your Self Concept is the title. And I'm going to be talking a little more about that actually today. Um, and so much more. So as you know, all my videos, they're not just about sp or money like i want you to apply the same principles to whatever it is that you're manifesting so whether we're talking about sp or money or removing the third party all the same principles apply to whatever your desire is and how to manifest it okay all right you guys so uh last week's video i talked about how people SP, boss, everyone, feel your energy. They feel your self-concept. As you know, manifesting is an energy game. It's, it's all about energy. You can say what you want. You can fake it as much as you want. But at the end of the day, your energy is dictating all of it. That's why you may, you may notice like, People may have it all together, right? And they're like, it looks like they have everything together. Their body's on point. Their social media's on point. Their money's on point. Everything's on point. But then when it comes to relationships, let's say, they just can't catch a break. Like, it just doesn't work out for them. Why is that? It's because none of those circumstances really matter everything else could be on point in your life but the beliefs and assumptions you have about one topic dictate how that is going to play out in your reality that one topic right so i get so many people saying like you know everything else in my life is perfect um my self-concept is on point and everything else in my life i don't get why I'm not able to manifest my SP or I don't get why I'm not able to get them to text back or call back or just want a commitment with me. I get that so much. And I used to actually struggle with that too. That's why I'm, I know so well about this topic. Um, that is because you got to watch all the history and all the thoughts and all the assumptions you have about that one topic. It's not just about being the best in all these departments of your life and then kind of like oh, okay if i'm the best in all of those departments then this should play out too no what about the thoughts you have of that person trying to come in that person in relation to like your relationship thoughts like what do you think about relationships what do you think about that person do you think about them wanting a relationship do you think about them not wanting to commit have they given you evidence in the past that, hey, like, I don't want commitment, and you're going off of that evidence? A lot of people, that third one I mentioned, a lot of people go off of that evidence your SP has given you in the past. You create that as a foundation. So you can't tell that you're going around that topic rather than through it. How should I explain this better? So, like, for example, I'll, I'll say my own situation. For example, my SP always would say, like, I don't want commitment. Um, I just don't want to. Like, I want to do my thing, you know? Like, I want to uh, do whatever I want. I don't want to have any responsibilities or expectations. And I would always view that person as that way, not realizing that I am doing that I would always view that them like as oh well that's just the type of person they are you know because they've told me they've told me so it must be solid it must be true right it's a fact um maybe we can convince or maybe we can do things that change their mind which is not manifestation is manipulation um but watch yourself if you ever get like that it's really important because when you're coming from that point of view that perspective you're not coming from a creator 
point of view. You're coming from a reactor point of view. You're coming from how do we um, try to like manipulate the situation, right? If this makes sense, you guys comment down below. What I used to do, and I see so much of this in on social media and so much of this just in people like talking about their relationships or stuff is like they would the moment they wouldn't get what they want in their relationship or from that person they would act up they would try to do things to get that person's attention or punish that person like oh, okay um if you're not gonna give me what i want then uh i'm not gonna pick up your phone call for like five days ten days i'm not gonna talk to you until you show up for me and a, a lot of the times Maybe sometimes it works because you just expect that that's going to work. But then when the person comes back in, you still have the same issues with them because you're not changing the self-concept within you and the self-concept within that in relation to that person. You're not changing the way you think of that person and you're not changing the way you think of you. Okay. Sometimes it even backfires on people. I have clients that come to me like for the first time ever and they're like, Ani, I think I messed up. Like I tried to play hard to get or I tried ghosting them, whatever it is, and they never ever came through. And it's been months since I talked to my SP or it's been years since I talked to my SP. Sometimes those tactics, those manipulative tactics backfired. It actually happened to me too when before I knew law of assumption, before I knew law of attraction, before I knew any of this, um, I had this really good guy friend and I told him the story about my SP and he's like, you know what, you got to cut it cold turkey, you got to not talk to him, you got to say I can't do this anymore if you're not going to show up for me the way I want, then um, cut it cold turkey and leave him, leave him on red. And I was influenced and I did it and I felt so bad after doing it. Like I couldn't really chill after doing it. I did that to my SP and me and SP didn't talk for over a year because of that. Um, even when SP reached out, I was constantly going to outside of myself going to someone for validation that person was like no 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 like keep playing hard to get like he'll come in he'll come in he'll come in harder he'll come in harder like um he'll be so afraid of losing you but the whole time i was not thinking oh this person's afraid of losing me I, the whole time i was thinking what am i doing you know but my ego wouldn't let me fix the situation my ego was just like no you did it if they want you, they'll come after you. If he wants you, he'll do it. Um, what's that saying? Like, if he wanted to, he would. Yeah. So, and so many people are hung up on that. If he wanted to, he would. But it's not true. Like, it's, first of all, what do you think about yourself? Do you feel like you're worthy? number one. And if you feel like you're worthy, what do you feel about them? Do you trust that they'll come in? Do you trust that that version of that person exists within? Because everything exists within. Every version of that person exists. Every version of you exists. Or are you just trying tactics outside of you to get stuff to happen? If this makes sense, you guys, comment down below. So what I want you to do going forward is more focusing on the better version of this person focusing more on the better version of you what are your thoughts about relationships write them down even the negative ones i want you to view what you're working with like i want you to see what you're working with okay that's how you that's how you first of all understand what's going on within even the negative stuff that pops up, even the triggers, write it down. Understand that, hey, like this thought's coming up. Maybe I saw something. Maybe I heard something. All of a sudden, I'm triggered. This thought's making me feel like not safe or this thought's making me feel like I'm hopeless in relationships. It's never going to work out or this thought's making me feel like men are crap. 
or women are crap or relationships are so hard, right? We got so many limiting beliefs inside due to like this world we've been living in, the information we've been feeding off of, the things we've been seeing. Most likely something's going to be inside of you that's against your desire. Um, and number two, after you write down those thoughts and feelings, ask yourself, like, is this really how you want to think about all this going forward? Is this how the best version of you, the version of you that will be in a relationship or have a relationship, would they be thinking in the, the, these ways? Probably not, right? It's the same thing as like someone who has money and someone who doesn't have money. The perspective, perspectives are so different. You cannot have money, but have a great mindset going forward about it. You don't have to have money physically in your hand to believe that you can um, manifest it. You don't have to have money physically in front of your face to believe that, oh, money exists and it can come to me. Same thing with SP. I think a lot of us um, really, really get triggered and worried because we're like, oh, SP is not in front of my face right now, or I'm not getting any um, like calls or texts or evidence to keep going. But remember, you don't keep going because there's evidence or not. That's That shouldn't be your motivation to keep going and to keep manifesting and to keep changing your thoughts and your mindset or to keep regulating your nervous system. The evidence should not dictate the work you do within. The work you do within should be your priority number one. What do I mean by the work you do within? I mean regulating your nervous system. If you're walking around anxious, worried, checking everyone's social media 24-7 to see a bit of validation, you're not calm. You're not in your power. You're literally in lack mode. So please pay attention to that, number one. Number two, do you constantly feel like you got to do something? Do you constantly feel like you got to do 10,000 techniques a day to get what it is you want? Again, that is coming from lack. When you feel like you got to do, 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 do to get movement, that is not your birthright. That is not your natural power. Your natural power is going within, shifting the thought, shifting perspective as you shift the perspective and it becomes consistent and dominant outside will shift does that make sense you guys if it makes sense comment down below um my self-concept course helps with this a lot like if you're struggling and you don't know what to do how to do it if you need homework if you're someone like me that like i like homework i like knowing like what to do, why I'm doing it, right? Um, so if you need anything like that, you feel like it'll help. My courses, the links will be in the description box down below. If um, you cannot find them, please leave a comment and reception will help you or visit our website um, or email us uh, and everyone will help you. If you guys are going to um, sign up for a course, if you go to our website to sign up, don't worry about the date and time. Um, the moment you sign up is the moment you receive the course. So don't worry about that. But all this information that I'm sharing in this video, you guys, it goes for it goes for removing a third party, manifesting more money in abundance, getting your SP. Say, like, for example, removing third party. If you constantly view, 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 view this person that you're trying to manifest like oh no like you're still with that person you're not gonna leave them you're not gonna come by me maybe I'm not worth it maybe I don't feel worth it maybe you don't see me as I'm worth it, it you could feel worthy but you can think that other person doesn't think you're worthy you see like there's minor little like thoughts here and there that determine things determine the results so that's why it's so important to be aware of your thoughts it's so important to um, be conscious. And also what I want you to do, you guys, whatever you do, do it with intention. 
If you're going to eat a nice meal, be present. Enjoy your meal. If you're going to take time out of your day to focus on you, don't let anything else distract you. Like, fully focus on you. You're worthy of it. You're worthy of prioritizing yourself. The more you prioritize you, everyone feels that off of you. Everyone. Your SP feels that off of you, too. I talk more about this in my last video, um, your SP feels yourself concept. Um, same thing with money. If you keep viewing money as I don't have enough, I'm not going to have enough. If you keep viewing it as it's slipping away through my fingers, guess what's going to happen? No. Remember, whatever it is that you're manifesting, you do not need to have it now to see it now in order to get more of it. You don't have to physically have it. I think a lot of people get so mixed up with that. And a lot of people, like, I have so many clients that come to me for the first time ever. And they're like, well, how am I supposed to, like, feel worthy if my specific person hasn't called me in a week? Or how am I supposed to feel like this is going to work? If I haven't had a text from them in a week, in two, in a month, whatever. Well, let me ask you this. Those people, let's say, let's say you're manifesting money, right? You want to be a millionaire. Most people that want to be a millionaire have not physically had a million dollars in their bank account. But they're still striving for it. They're still motivated to get it right? They're not saying, oh, you know what? If, if, if it's not in my bank account, I'm not going to manifest it, right? So approach it with the same approach towards SP. Just because SP is not in your bed right now doesn't mean you, that's never going to happen. Just because you don't have the ring on your finger yet doesn't mean it's never going to happen. You just got to change that identity you have within yourself and with them. And how do you do that? Again, minor, all that minor work, like you, you're feeling off, write out why, what triggered that, what just happened, be aware of it, give yourself that diagnosis. The more aware you are of where your mind's at, where your thoughts at, why it's there, right? Most like, if you can't answer the why, most likely it could be ego, most likely, likely it could be old beliefs, doubts, fears, assumptions. So it's natural. Like, for example, when I was manifesting SP, by the way, yeah, so I mentioned, like, we didn't talk for a year, right? But I manifested him back in after I started understanding this work. And this is like, this is like probably 10 years ago, you guys. So, um, but as he came in, I was just like, okay, so this works. I didn't have to manipulate anything. Like, why did I listen to that guy friend of mine? Why did I try to manipulate outside of me? Like this information is so crazy to know, right? That's, those were the first, at the beginning of me knowing about all this information. Um, so when SP came back in, um, he was like, I would think about you all the time. Like I would literally go and check your pictures and all this, but he's like, I felt like you didn't want me. I, or I felt like it, I wasn't ready to reach out. And that feedback was true. Like I was afraid that he would never, or I was afraid that it wouldn't work out the way I want. So he didn't have an inclination to take inspired action. You see, but when you are confident within that other person will take inspired action because they'll just feel like they have to. Um, after SP came back in and I manifested him back in after no communication for a year um, and I started learning way more about this knowledge. Every time he would do something, he would always tell like I would always ask him like, oh, what made you do that, right? Because we're the ones have, everyone is us pushed out. So 
ask whenever you guys get a chance, like if something's happening in your life, whether it's SP, whether it's family, friends, boss, whatever, ask them like, hey, what made you do that? Whenever I would ask my SP why or what, why would he do that or what he did, he would always say, I felt like I had, I should, I should do all these nice things for you. I should be showing up for you. I just feel like I'm having thoughts that I need to, you know, and that comes with the changes within. When I didn't feel that way within, I wasn't seeing it pushed out. When I started feeling that way within, I was seeing it push out. Now, don't feel, don't think it's like linear either. Like sometimes you'll see it, sometimes you won't. Sometimes it'll take a little bit of time. Sometimes you won't see any movement. So again, don't, don't um, put all your hopes on your evidence. Your evidence, regardless of you having evidence or not, you should still keep going. Keep making those internal perspective shifts. No matter what. You have an imagination for a reason. You don't have an imagination just to use it in childhood years and then that's it. You have an imagination because what you're not experiencing right now, you can go there with your mind, which will tell your subconscious mind, this is what I want to experience. That's why I'm putting focus on it. And then boom, your reality out there will shift to match what you just fed your subconscious mind. Make sense? If you guys want more on this, check out my courses. If you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching, I am booked up. But um, you can go on the wait list. So many people manifesting one-on-ones uh, -on with me, just going on the wait list. Um, the moment someone reschedules, you get a notification and you can grab that spot. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you in the next video. If this video was helpful, comment down below. Have a happy, happy, happy weekend.